Angel Reese has had a fairly impressive rookie season, but there's still a lot of room for improvement in her game, especially in her ability to finish around the basket. Fans are seriously questioning her basketball fundamentals as she has an atrocious ability to finish around the basket with efficiency. She is shooting a horrific 40.2% from the field, and is even shooting below 50% on shots less than 5 feet from the basket, and is shooting a terrible 13% on shots 5 to 9 feet from the basket. Some of these layup attempts are really bad, and a lot of these layup attempts aren't even hitting the rim and she's within 3 feet of the basket. And it's not something that has happened once, it has happened multiple times, 13 instances to be exact in this video alone. So let's get into it. Now this girl want me and her you trust fuck it, I'm with the still. Brown and bad. Give it change my body on top of weight there. Well, Angel, it's one thing for rookies to make this all-star squad, but to come in here and have a double-double and make a huge difference, how were you able to be so fantastic? Yeah, I just wanted to leave my mark. One day I want to be able to be a USA member. I want to be able to be with that team. So it was an honor to come out there and play, play against them. Coming off the bench, I just wanted to bring as much energy as I could. Some people might think you guys would have taken it easy on them late in this game, let them get their confidence nah. back, but absolutely not, right? I think we got to get them better, obviously. I think... We're really talented, and this league is so talented, so just being able to go up against them, I mean, it's an honor. We saw the whole team give a big inhale, <gasps> exhale for Arike and for everybody. Tell me, what was that all about? In the locker room, show told Arike at halftime, just take a deep breath and breathe. So everybody like, okay, she didn't tell me that, so I can go out there and score 32. So Arike, she's cold. I mean, I'm so glad to be able to play with her. Kelsey Mitchell, Angel Gray, everybody, uh, you, you all did such a great job tonight. What's the future of this league look like? I'm, I'm so excited for this league. I mean, super competitive. Being able to be a rookie out here, I hope many more times I'm out here. And this crowd came out tonight to support so many different people. I'm happy. Thank you. I mean, Alicia Gray, you know that, right? Um, please continue to show the page support by commenting, liking, subscribing, and turning the no notifications on. And Shot clock is off. Angel Reese has four Liberty players around her. She stands, yelling to get the ball into Reese. Lindsay Allen hangs on, and the double-double streak for Angel Reese is over. She had a WNBA record 15. Runs into double figures now. Cardozo against JJ. Great matchup. And a whistle on the rebound. Angel Reese called for foul number five. Well, Burt got the good, Burt got away with a little hook and hold underneath, and then the frustration from Angel Reese bouncing the ball back behind her, not giving the ball to the official, is why she got teed up. And Teresa Weatherspoon is out on the floor talking to all three officials trying to get an explanation. And Kennedy Carter is coming into the game for the first time this half. And the fans are watching the replay on the big screen here. As is Angel. Watch Berg's hook. She has Angel Reese's arm held down. That's why Angel Reese was so frustrated. So Doikic hits the technical free throw, the technical foul called on Reese, who is still fired up about it. Like, and I know Angel Reese isn't concerned about this, but with five fouls, that's less time she can play 
And she's two points away from a double-double. Please, an update from when I started making this video. I just wanted to make a complete one. Um, she was a couple seconds away from getting her 16th consecutive double. And I feel for her, like, her, her frustrations animated is pretty evident. She wanted the ball. She didn't get the ball. Would it have made a difference? I don't know. It probably wouldn't have in the larger scheme of things, but for her own personal accolade, yeah, it would have. So I, I see her frustration. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how the team chemistry um, continues going forward. Because uh, I, that whole team put together, um, I'm just happy someone else is turning up. Um, Marina, Marby, Money Marby. Yeah, it's it's an it's an interesting interesting dynamic. I you see what they also did to Camila Cardozo. So my thoughts on this, I don't know what to think of it. I'm just gonna say that uh, I want her to continue to do to be doing well, but not at the expense of her team. Orson's had to deal with some electric wing players. Two games against Enrique Mubawale, and then now Kennedy Carter. And how about Angel Reese? The jumper's still flowing. <laughs> Thought for a moment that Noel Quinn was taking Carter lobs it inside. Good post position by Reese. Double team by Magbagor. Alters the shot. Look at Reese work to get her own second shot opportunity. Two of 15. And Lindsay Allen was blanketing Jewel Lloyd. Wouldn't let her catch it. Reese for a dagger. Angel Reese knocked down her first three. Well, Angel Reese, this is know your personnel. Yeah, you're going to give her that three, but she's on fire today. Bottom line, bottom line,